Good evening, 47. Your target is Wen Tsai, the highly influential Southeast Asian food critic. He is notorious for his sadistic attention to detail and relentless criticism of the smallest errors. The client is the partner of a Singaporean chef driven to suicide by the target's cruel response to a bottle of over-chilled ice water. We have learned that the target will be at the Himapan Hotel in Bangkok, where he plans to review that hotel's award-winning cuisine. Complicating matters, the target has recently retained a private security team in response to his increasing notoriety. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Good evening, 47. Our on-site intelligence has confirmed that the target has arrived at the restaurant and that his security team has already swept the area. Good hunting. Stars. Uh, that's Abel De Silva? He's only one of the most awesome drummers on the New York indie scene. He was in Death in Taxes and, and Flat Earth Society? Yeah, I, I like Top 40. Ah. Hey, sir, hey, sir, you can't come through here. Sorry. Uh, please move on. Keep up the fine work. Well, Lovely day. Some ass. Next time, huh? Well aware that the cake topper is missing, but can't it wait? We're tremendously busy here. It's only numbers. 
I'm sure Jordan Cross doesn't need a cake to remind him how old he is. Thomas Glass of Cremant, please. Thank you. That's, that's sort of my point. Usually when rock stars make outrageous demands, it's because they came from nothing. And they... Smile for that extra tip. And you claim this to be a pilaf. I call it an affront. An affront, I say. Stop it. Are you trying to kill me? Is this some sick joke? You know I am coming to visit your little establishment, and you decide, lovely, let me utterly cack all over it. Is that it? Let me know when you have today's specials. How's the fish? Is it good to go? Understood, Chef. People are 
Lay bare your secrets. I will discover that you are hollow. That your recipes are rote, and your skills are nothing but uh, pale imitation. Where'd the topper go? Ah, uh, someone else's headache then. At least I won't have to serve. Insult. I am terribly sorry to interrupt, Chef Bernard, but may I introduce you to the famous. Hey! What did I tell you about bringing people down here? This is a place of creation and contemplation. Can't work with all manner of, of amateurs wandering the place. But this is the food critic Wen Tsai, sir. Yeah, of course, and I'm his holiness. Now, get out of my kitchen, you hear me? I am Wen Tsai. So thrilled to make your acquaintance. Jesus, Mr. Wen. Well, I'm not wearing my glasses today. Oh, that would certainly explain it. Only a blind man could perpetrate such a travesty. <laughs> Yo, I've heard about you. Now, oh, let's see what they mean. If my incompetent staff had thought to let me know you were coming, I would have arranged a special presentation. Oh, my dear Chef Bernard, I have seen more than enough already. Words cannot describe how I feel about your kitchen. Ah, uh, yes. Perhaps you might care to experience my famous prawn soup? No! I shall not be bought like some cheap travel blogger. I have standards. And you, Chef Bernard, are an offense to them all. I shall return to my table and await your next assault upon my senses. What about a spicy beef salad or some fresh insect nymphs from Nongkai? No, little shit. I hope he chokes on that little tie of his. How's the octopus? We nearly done. I'm, I'm on it, Chef. Okay, let's get in gear, people. The table three is complaining about the weight. We need to hurry it up, hurry it up. The table of four, hear the orders. People, we need the three dishes for table four out now. I got it, Chef. People are paying a lot of money to eat here. Let's step up. Hi, Chef.
Mister, who are you? Someday you may own your own restaurant. Don't you understand? It's vulgar to eat. I see, sir, Mr. Wen. If I only wanted to taste the food, I might as well have ordered takeout. That way I might have spared myself the tacky decor. Yes, sir. I mean, what is this anyway? It looks like some horrid pastiche, some nasty little brothel. No, that would be an insult to nasty little brothels. Does that mean I, I should r remove the food? My god, man. Is your ineptitude complete? I, I'm not sure what you mean, Mr. Wen. Oh, leave it. Believe me, if there was any way of judging the, and I use the term very lightly, merits of the cuisine without actually setting foot in this place, believe me, I would. Yes, sir, Mr. Wen. Suffice to say, I'd expect to see such things in Bangkok. Filth! Anyway, do I really have to repeat everything? No. I don't actually taste the food. I experience it. Don't you understand? It's vulgar to eat. Freaky French Canadian circus, okay? Enough is enough. Huh. favor and see what that's about, would you? Okay. I can barely bring myself to look at this. God, the reek. The filthy blend of shades. I, I'm quite faint. Stop it. Are you trying to kill me? Huh? Is this some sick joke? You know I am coming to visit your little establishment, and you decide, lovely, let me utter oh, cat all over you. Is that it? Interesting. Yeah, okay. I don't see anything suspicious either. Waiter? Huh. 
I have three orders for the goose satay sticks. Go I got an order. Leave me three right dishes for chop chop. Four out now. I hear you, chef. I'm transitioning gear, people. Hmm. Hey, who's there? Hello. Hmm. Something's way off with you, God. Oh, hey, sorry. Wait! What are you doing? Huh? Are you, are you completely nuts? I shall. The world will know what manner of crimes are perpetrated here.
Target eliminated. The money has been wired to your account. paper.